beautiful people it is 2022 do not get the flu or the rona flu rona so we are about to watch um onf beautiful beautiful onf is a six member south korean boy group that debuted under wm entertainment in 2017 on february 24th 2021 the group released their first studio album onf my name the album contains 11 tracks including the futuristic 80s synth pop Woo! title track beautiful I'm beautiful during the promotional period of onf received their first music show win since their debut on sbs mtv's the show that's, Woo! that's a lot what does all that mean sbs is the broadcasting company mtv is the, of course and, yeah. MTV, and then the show is the name of the show oh, okay <laughs> onf has had a storyline since debut since this is one of their first oh that's not first since this is one of their most recent comebacks i suggest you not try to figure it out all right got it thank you cool. for that so don't try too hard awesome we're not gonna try to figure so out what's something happening. so when you're thinking i wonder what's going on just let it go just let it do i'm gonna try my best right, right. I I <laughs> a little hard but i resent that i always just water it down i'm gonna try to figure it out everyone wants simple stuff these days so well this is fun right away He's Come dead. on, Alfred! I figured it out, he's dead. Who's your go to? That was fun. And I understand why 
why you said don't try to figure it out because there's a lot. So I do very understand late. Oh, that. Yeah. Very late. I do understand that, but it's some yeah. Incarnation things. Okay, wait. So, 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 so we have watched some of their stuff already, because mm -hmm. one of them we was like, so what, what the, the fuck, fuck is, is this? happening? Yes. <laughs> so is this like a continuation? Yeah. So basically, they said that they've had this. I've uh, been on the same storyline story since the, debut. Okay. So since 2017, it's just been the yeah. one storyline. I, yeah. Not only do I want like That's the awesome. storyboard for the storyline, I, right. I want I want the notes going into the storyboard. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Right. Like, and, I, and I want all of this so I can like be clear on what it is you guys are trying to portray, and mm -hmm. then from there break it down to what I'm seeing. Uh -huh. Because I feel like the more I see, because I do remember like I'm gonna say maybe one or two other videos from this group. The yes. more I, the more I see videos from this group, the the less the idea is so much like what's happening to. Okay, you're obviously saying something, but like, what is it that you're trying to say? Because mm -hmm. I'm missing, I'm like, you're here, and I'm like, right here, and I don't know what this is. Right. This, I, it's I, I like, I could part. come up with something, but then you add this, so then right. it's just like, wait, but that might not go with, wait. <laughs> I would like to know, like, what the, like, backgrounds right. or origins for, like, certain ideas for, like, at least ONF is, just so I could be like, oh, so the whole time you guys are supposed to be X, Y, and Z, right. and then this is the story to tell that. Ah, right. I get it Because I remember watching when they were, like, the, like, everything In was, like, world fucked world. up, yeah. and then they was still had techie shit, yeah. and they was running from something, and now they in the tech world, and then they still running from something, so I'm like... What y'all running from? Yeah. <laughs> like, they do like a deep dive inward. Like, right. is it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I have questions. Is this a metaphor like, for, for your soul? Right. Or are you trying to beat the system? I mean, yeah. that's, right. what, it, so that's it looks, what it looks like. I'm yeah, sure. it just looks like, but, you know, going more or watching more of these music videos, I wonder how much, like, our things are going to change or, like, mm. what, like what, what little information we get where it's like, oh. Oh, okay, so then this makes sense. Because that was happening and... dimensions last time. And then yeah. also, like, are they making? Uh, is there is their story congruent to the world that we actually live in? Uh, live in, ooh. or is it just something that they they've been doing since twenty seventeen? You know what I'm saying? Or is it kind of like with like a. Uh, what is it like co-play and bts with my universe situation. yeah and it's like relevant Espa, to the top isn't espa isn't like that its own universe Espa, yeah. 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 yeah 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 so maybe it's so kind of like it, their it, own world that right they're, yeah so that's my that's question so, and so in their own world is their world relevant to our time or is their own world just their own thing completely separate mm -hmm. and it has no like stance like it's not right. it's not like we're doing ethnic and black lives matter stuff because it happens to be 2020 right now it's this is this is what we do. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's how I'm trying to ask. You know what I'm That's saying? That's so interesting. I also realized watching this that I was not. I don't think I do remember loving O and F, but I was not talking about O and F. I was talking about Astro and SF9 when I was talking about the two people that I was talking mm. about. So mm. just to clarify that, I just I realized after I was like, oh, okay, this, this, this is not the same group. No. <laughs> yeah, that mm. was really fun. I'm excited to see more of their stuff, just mm -hmm. to like try to figure it out. Yeah, try to figure it out, but not work too hard because I don't want to hurt my head, you know. <laughs> um, but I am intrigued by whatever this may be, especially because I can't necessarily figure it out. Mm -hmm. Right. So that makes me more interested. So Tegan Lover says that they think that the story is they are androids who were once human and their consciousness gets transferred through time and space. Oh Ooh, shit! That's okay. cool. That's a lot. Right, that is a lot. I'm here for that's it. That's a lot. That's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But that is a lot. Like, like you know, for a person to go through, like for somebody, like for a robot, to turn human, and like, your consciousness is coming through right. through time. Like, not even like right now, or like you get to pick what comes through. Or wait, if I'm correct. Androids are humans who just basically get like anatomical like augmentations. They're clones, right? Like, like a. Because I, I remember having this discussion with you when it was androids versus cyborgs. Oh, okay. Which, okay, okay. I, I okay so let me clarify for Cy yeah. yeah, cyborgs yeah. are humans that have been upgraded by machine parts, and androids gotcha. have the information downloaded into them. So androids are AIs. machines to start with. So they are machines. Okay, yes. Yeah. That's what androids I was are machines. Yeah, they're AI. Yeah. Got it. Uh, Astro baby dance practice. Astro is a six-member South Korean boy group that debuted under Fan Fantasio. Fantasio hey. Entertainment in Fantasio. 2016. Fantasio. Let's go Fantasio. Shut up. That's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Baby is the title track of the group's fourth mini album, Dream Part 1, which is released in 
which was released in May of 2017. P.S. This is a little note for us. I'm going to read it out loud. P.S. At the beginning of the video, they do rock, paper, scissors to decide who's whose member stand gets to be the center marker. Oh. oh. Hilarious. Oh, oh my goodness. Adorable. That's cute. That's funny. I guess we know who won. <laughs> Why, he tall as shit. Jesus, right. Oh, no, those are just, like, examples. Like, those are the, the, the pictures. No, him, yeah, but him on the left. He's tall, he's he tall, not tall as, shit. as shit. He's like my little brother tall. He's stupid. Like, 6'3", six, 6'2". Six, yeah. So much taller. Oh, yeah, see? That's the one that had the pink hair in that video that we watched. The one with the, the, the right? three. Three to the right, so the one, yeah. The one with the question marks over him, okay. yeah. That's the one that you were like, he looks like the gender fluid one in Huarang. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Middle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he's so flirty with the camera, I love it. He be like smiling, like rumbling his body and shit, like stop it. Disrespect. <laughs> He's like, uh, that's mine. I'm coughing on everybody. Corona. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, the super missing. I like the. the yes, uh, I appreciate huh? the motion. Ah, so cute. I appreciate Astro. That'd be having way that motion. This is the last video I saw there. That's adorable. Come on, Lake. Lake. Mm -hmm. Everything doesn't tell me I'm trying to run off the screen. Oh, it seems like it's in a pocket. Um,
Yes. First, first of all, yes. <laughs> you want to start with yes. Um, so, and I, I've been trying to find a way to explain how I see choreography for people who don't see it the way I see it. So, with when it comes to astro, I appreciate this practice because I feel that your legs and your lower body really determine the tempo when it comes to the movement. Mm -hmm. Your arms and your hands are accent pieces. Mm -hmm. So, if you're having a conversation with somebody and they begin to move while they're talking with you, you're oh whoa. But if someone's doing this while you're talking, you're you're hearing more of what they're saying rather than yo what's up oh whoa what's up you know what I'm saying I said yo what's up like okay what happened this must be important you know so I feel like hands and arms upper body although it does get the majority of like the visual when it comes to waist up dance or chest up dance um i feel like your hands and your arms are more of an accent yeah, piece so even in this for example when um they did um some of their footwork and then they did the uh, the leg tap with the two arms yeah um, right before then it was all pretty much shoulders and legs and then they moved arms and arms and now it, it just changed the, the entire mood mm -hmm. because the arms accented i want to say like a lighter tone mm -hmm. so overall i feel like for me what the 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 issue that i that i would normally have with k-pop choreo at least for me watching mm -hmm. and trying to like you know break it down would be that i feel like when it comes to the legs if all the, if all you're doing for legs for me feels like you're running in a direction and they're doing hand stuff and then running and hand stuff and then moving and then hand stuff you know what i'm saying it feels it's like, like the whole, eh. it feels like the whole time you're just like you're not doing like my you're movement. doing you're doing you're like a workout to, it's a transition yeah it's like it's like the whole thing is a transition it's like the whole thing is a zumba transition rather than like yeah. and that's that it's not choreography at all he but, said zumba but when i feel no i feel like i feel like, I feel like yeah, we're doing yeah. it. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. I'm like, dang, like, who was the, like, where, where did we even, like, where did we come How did in? you get from yeah. there to there? We, I, I just saw you took two jumps and now you on that side of the screen. So, um, I, I do appreciate Astro. Um, the overall feel feels more patient. It feels mm. like it's within a pocket. Like, like the, mm. like, the dance itself has its own genre. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's within a pocket because, again, the legs determine the tempo. For this, what I what I do want to see in the future as well for Astro uh, are more levels because everyone everything was very up top, which is cool. I do want to see some floor work or especially since they're so tall. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's not like their length. That's like, what I was gonna say because they're so tall. Having someone do like a very long leg at the bottom ooh, or yeah. having them hit like a a low thing, like I need some of that from y'all. But overall, like this is. But again, like I said last time, body mm -hmm. choreography. This is what it looks like when you put your legs into it mm -hmm. as well as your arms. We all know what it looks like to do an X in the air, to do a box in the air, to do a hand swivel. We've seen it a thousand times, you know what I'm saying? What makes it different, what brings it together, it's when you put the entire package in one piece. So thank you, Astro, and your choreographer for taking the time to make you guys look like full like full pieces. Y'all look like statues when y'all dance sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like look like full pieces yeah. of like art per person instead mm -hmm. of we're gonna just crank these quick elbow moves and quick, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, situations it's like if we could sit here and do the same thing in the same situation and because you see the picture, because you see it come together, it's, it's a more concise experience. Mm -hmm. So. I'm here for Astro. Shout out to the baby dance practice. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. And old, do it. old boy is super tall, y'all. He was doing yes. it. He was holding it down. Holding it down. Clean as fuck. Yes, it was so clean. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's so pretty. What's going on? Oh Ashley? my gosh. Welcome. I also like thought of the levels thing when mm -hmm. um when they did that one really long like where they did like a lean, like they had a lean one leg without, and then they did like this mm -hmm. thing, and I was like, oh my god, you guys are so pretty, like. Their, your length is so pretty mm -hmm. to have levels would be so like different to see and so nice to see because it doesn't really happen too like often. If, like mm -hmm. if half of Especially them did like a low, people. like a low version of that at the same time. Yeah, right. like, yeah, like it would be so cool because it was just like, I don't know, it's like in contemporary when they have those moments where they like go out and you see the length, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, like you guys are just doing this beautifully. But also, like, I really like that it seems like you guys enjoy the choreography you're doing. Yeah. Like, it shows in how you're doing it. It's not like, oh, this is choreo. We're doing this, blah, 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 whatever. It's like, oh, I'm partying it up. I'm having fun. Like, this is fun. I like this. I like what I do, you know, kind of thing. So it makes it more enjoyable for the audience when they see you're having fun, too. So... I think in, in hearing what you're saying, again with the legs, sorry, just so I can drive this point home, mm -hmm. it feels like when they move, they're moving from a base mm -hmm. to a base. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like you're, you're jumping from step to step and you're kind of just like running through it, it feels like this is my step, my step, 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 mm -hmm. and motion, 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 mm -hmm. step, 
step, step. Like there, at some point we get to a, even if I don't know what's happening, I see this. And then I see this picture rather than, oh, he went from here to pop, 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 chest. Like, that was hot, but like, damn. Like, if all I can do is like breathe harder when you dance, I'm not really, you know, having an experience. I'm just excited. You know, it's just like, it's it's like that's like a firework goes up in your face, and then seven fireworks go off in your face. Yeah, and like, it's don't explosive. Get, yeah. Right, and it's, and, well, of course I'm gonna be excited. It's like you're all in my face. Mm -hmm. so, but yeah. they are like they are able to. I feel like create excitement from like start to finish because mm -hmm. it just continues to build because you're able to follow it and you're able to see the pictures that they are drawing with their body mm -hmm. and it makes sense like I didn't even have to know what the song was saying I just needed to know what their movement meant and like their movement made me excited like it made me very I don't know it felt very very like not yeah. I don't want to say flirtatious yeah they partying it up over here mm -hmm. not I, I don't want to say really right. flirtatious but it seemed very like innocent like I don't know like they were trying to get the attention of a girl like this is what mm -hmm. I do for you or like we would have fun together you know because it was just very cute I don't, like mm -hmm. I said I don't even need to know what the song is about that's how it came off so it made me feel good and mm -hmm. that's what you want the audience to do you want to have the audience feel good so it's it's nice when you can just move and it makes the audience feel whatever type of way, especially when it's a great way. That part. Yeah. Well, guys, that was Astro and ONF, beautiful, beautiful, Astro Baby Dance Practice. Go watch it. It was great. Yes. yes this was a good episode. It was great. Um, yeah. We'll be back next time. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.